Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome. If you would, while we are waiting for the room to build, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Hello, Brina. Happy Sunday, Rosalind. Diane. Hi, Sauce. Thank you, ladies, for being here. I appreciate it. I'm going to see how quickly I can get in and out tonight, which I've been struggling with lately. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to thank my new subscribers uh, because I've been noticing that my subscriber count is starting to tick up and there is nothing greater as a content creator than to see that there are uh, viewers that are interested in your content and subscribing and hopefully hitting that bell so that they are alerted whenever you go live or upload new content. So for all of my new subscribers, I just want you to know um, that I see you. I appreciate you um, and thank you for being here. I hope that you um, feel the energy um, in the tribe and feel comfortable and that you uh, will join in on the live chats as well. Hello, Heartstring. The uh, next thing that I want to do is do a little bit of a confessional. So it has been um, this past week, I have gotten this, a, a little over a week, this complete and utter Peace. Hello, the closet dive um, with my collection. Like I feel, hi, Mrs. Q. Like I feel like I'm not stocking the sites. Hi, Delise. Hi, Diva. Um, I'm not stocking the sales. I'm, there have been a couple of days where I haven't even looked to see um, what was out there. And I will say, hi, Sanja, that there has been an extremely long time since that was happening. Hi, Carmen. Um, it's almost like I feel normal, like my collection, at least right now, is complete, or at least um, what I'm seeing on the sites and in the stores are not things that um, I think will further enhance my collection. And so it's been a lot easier uh, to say no. Now, I will say that the month of November, the month of December, and the month of January, uh, not so much um, because I still have a lot of things that I need to show um, that I did pick up during that time period. But I've just gotten to this point where if it's not going to further make my collection a collection then I don't need it like how many Ashtons do I need in different colors and different leathers yeah I have two and two different leathers but do I really need any more when I have um, a, a collection of Russell's in three different sizes? Do I really need them when I have um, Greta in, or the Leisure um, Shopper in a couple of different prints, including Greta, including um, Safiano Leather? What, you know, what, what more could I need? So I, I don't, I'm not going to call it um, burn out because I'm still very, very much interested um, in handbags and I am loving my collection. Um, but right now, if it's not something that is going to further um, diversify my collection or further make it unique as far as the piece that I am adding, then I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my cabana on Bag Band Island. Um, not to mention, I got home um, one day last week and K 
came in and opened the door to the Dooney vault because I was going to look for a bag to switch into. And I opened that door and I got sick to my stomach. Like it is, it has spilled over into um, the floor and it's a pretty nice size walk-in closet. Um, it is up to the ceilings. Things are double, triple stacked. Some of them are double, triple, and quadruple bagged together. And I just, it just confirmed for me that you haven't carried all of these yet. Why do you need any others? So that being said, over what I will say the next few months, you're probably going to see things that I have um, purchased and just haven't shown yet. There's gonna be some, um, you know, other different kind of conversation topics, but that's just kind of where I am. And I know I've heard um, from some of you that based on the level of service we were getting from Dooney, um, the way packages were arriving, um, the fact is that when you um, got a, a box you couldn't wait for um, you know for the for, for the unboxing you couldn't wait for a long time because you needed to check and see the condition of a bag and it only takes um, so long in an abusive relationship and that's what it had kind of turned into with Dooney um, that you decide you know what I'm fed up and I'm gonna pack up my stuff and I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go someplace where I'm appreciated and right now, um, this past week, I went into coach and I returned Dinkier and I returned Dinkies. Um, they did have a couple of different Dinkies in store while I was there. None of them, um, you know, they didn't have the exact same one that I was replacing. And I really did like that one. Um, but the ones that they did have had um, genuine snake as one of the links in there. So they were like 50 bucks more than the piece that I was returning that had those rivet um, marks on the white chalk leather. And I already felt like I paid too much for Dinky. So to pay $50 more just for these smidgens of genuine leather I was just like you know what it's just not the time um or the place or the bag that is going to make me spend fifty dollars more I just didn't um I didn't I I wasn't that compelled I felt like the dinky was similar in size and probably in function to the um Florentine uh clutch what is it called pocket clutch the florentine pocket clutch from dooney i have that one in light taupe and i also got it in red Just aside from one being a shorter shoulder bag in florentine leather and the other one having the chain strap they're very similar in size and in organization so i just decided you know what I'm going to enjoy those two pieces that are already in my collection. So I did take that back. Um, I returned um, the Dreamer 36 tote in the color Heather because I just decided I was not going to be forced into purchasing suede. And therefore, I took back the little uh, rivet coin clutch pocket thing um, that I purchased to go with it as well. So... Just so that you kind of know where I stand, I didn't, I felt like those pieces um, made my collection a collection, but due to um, either the material, the size, or the wear that they were received in, I just decided I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. Now, there was a sale that I did pick up some things at, and You've already seen some of them, and some of them are coming. But you have seen this particular...
particular accessory, at least the accessory style, on my channel recently. Let me just make sure I got the right thing. Yep. And I'm just going to quickly show it to you because I've been having a couple of conversations with um, some ladies in the tribe about this color or this color family so i decided that i was going to take the plunge and i couldn't really figure out what i was gonna put with it at the time what bag i was gonna put it with but that's one of those things you just kind of figure it out as you go and it is another dreamer wristlet and this one is in the lavender or the purple with the snake it's actually considered dusty lavender and it is a beautiful color it does read true purple in person and I have a um, I have a purple city Barlow, large Barlow. I have um, the shiny it that has the purple lavender in the print there. I have um, a um, the charcoal as well as the charcoal the wine and the light taupe in the mckenzie and i just think that it would coordinate or pair well with those i i just i fell in love with it i don't know what it is about this accessory piece but i pulled the trigger on my last one this was not the last one i did find one um at macy's a couple weeks back and i picked it up and it has disappeared um, in a Macy's bag somewhere with like six or seven pairs of earrings that I picked up. And as soon as I find the earrings, I'll find the wallet or um, vice versa. All right. Um, it would not be a Feed Your Addiction uh, live stream if somebody did not get sent to the enabler corner. So... Tonight, um, there will be a group of folks that will go to the Enabler Corner so that they can keep each other company. And uh, the first person uh, going to uh, the Enabler Corner is none other than Mrs. Q. Mrs. Q will be the first to take her bow and head over to the Enabler Corner. Um, the second person to go to the Enabler Corner is none other than Mrs. Carmen Hawkins. Mrs. Carmen, take your bow, take your bow, take your bow, and please join Mrs. Q in the enabler corner. And uh, the third person to join um, the, the, the fantastic um, Mrs. Q and Carmen Hawkins in the enabler corner is none other than Sonja Covington. Sonja, take your bow, take your bow, and uh, exit stage right up into the enabler corner and join both Carmen and Mrs. Q. The three of you can keep each other company for the rest of the live stream. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody bid them farewell. They are going to go and chit chat over in the enabler corner because these three ladies, yes, all three of them, not only have this bag, but um, in me watching and re watching and <laughs> watching again their videos on this bag, I decided that I needed it in my collection. Now, I, um, here's the thing. Mrs. Q went to the corner first because if I have my dates correct on my videos, 
she actually started this thing. And then Carmen joined in. And then Mrs. Q went back with accessories. And Carmen had accessories. And then Sonja um, purchased the bag as well. And I finally came around and said, you know what? I think I love that bag. I think I have a place for it in my collection. I don't think I have anything else like it. It can serve a very general as well as a very specific function um, in my collection. The size of it is good. And um, whether or not I find matching accessories, I will still love it because well, once you see it, you'll understand. I don't have to have matching accessories because she's in denim. And much like your denim jeans, you can wear whatever you want with your denim. So I felt the same way about adding this dreamer to my collection. I know I'm late and um, clearly have um, taken the plunge. I don't know why they put a strap with this. I'm never going to use a strap with this, but it, I just felt like, you know what, and I have, I confess, I have been looking for um, denim accessories and I have found a wallet that I am likely going to pull the trigger on but the same way I don't know um, I can put on denim with denim I can put on denim with a sweater I can put denim on with a blouse I can put whatever I want on with denim and I just feel like whatever accessories, whatever accessories I decide that I want to pair in here, that I can do that. Now, I will say that this is not the 36. It's not the Dreamer 36. It is clearly smaller than um, my chalk. I can look at it in detail, and it's also not labeled that way on the receipt, which means that they did mislabel it on the site. But let me, let me just make sure. It says the 36 on the receipt. Dress isn't visible. Um, hmm. This is not the 36. This is this it says 36, but this is not the 36. This is? Is that what you're saying, Regina? Because this one definitely looks smaller. Maybe it's the profile. Um, but Either way, it's going to work because what I will say is I had zero visions of this being an everyday bag. This will become like the casual Friday bag and once I move into it, it will kind of take me throughout the weekend. Um, my church does summer um, summer Sundays. So during the summer, you do not have to get dressed up. Like even pastor will be in like a polo shirt and shorts. I mean, that's just, that's just what we do. It keeps people from getting antsy. It keeps people from having the excuse about it's hot or, you know, I've got something else I want to do after church. So I could literally use this 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all throughout the summer. Um, some of the things that I am noticing now that I have mine in person that I didn't recall seeing in the videos of my tribe sisters when I watched them, and maybe it was just I didn't know to, you know, to really look for it or to look at it. But I, do you see those cute little dainty flowers and the rivets there on the corners? So it's that way on both panels, front and back, you know that I am absolutely in love with these outside pockets. You know, we call those Big Bertha after my grandmother. And unlike the uh, Dreamer 36 tote in the color Heather that I just returned to coach, this one is giving me my leather. I knew that it was going to be denim on the outside. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to be able to go with any denim, any pair of dream, jeans, any chambray dress, any shirt. Um, I, I wanted to be able to do that, but I wanted the smooth leather. I did not want to be forced into the suede territory or anything else without me wanting to um, take that plunge. Because likely when I take my plunge into suede, it will be dirty. I mean, I'm just going to do it right when I do it. That's my opinion. Um, the stitch work, I love that this is a navy stitch and that it really kind of blends in. It's not anything to distract um, because this is the star. This is the stitch work that you want to stand out because it's going to match better with the actual denim. So I am loving this. I love that this has the gold hardware on it as opposed to the darker, um, you know, graphite gun metal because it does a little bit more to pull the stitch work. And what was also amazing to see is that the interior is light, so this doesn't feel schizophrenic to me. And I've got a light, open interior. Good organization that will get me through, you know, casual Fridays, errands, brunch, etc. Saturday, Sunday, worship through summer. I can see moving into this with whatever accessories I decide and being able to camp out in it. So... That's it. Um, I do have a, and I don't, um, should I do that tonight? Nope, I'm going to wait and do that another night. So that's, that's it. I have been really, um, what's another word other than anxious? Because I've not been anxious to get into it. Um, maybe it is anxious. I've been anxious to get my to get this one out of the box and to get it in my hands and to do the inspection to make sure that it's good. Um which I guess at this point it would not matter because um I'm past my 30 day return period. Um speaking of what I'd like to share with you and you may have already heard it or know that um Thursday of last week, Coach actually updated um, one of its policies. So um, it's it was kind of news to me. I didn't remember hearing it in any of the lives or anything like that. So I'm going to share it. So I took um, my backpack in to have the logo on the front replaced. If you recall, I did a live in... Uh, I think I was sitting at the airport in Houston when I was showing you my coach backpack and realized that the N had come off of the New York underneath coach. Um, and I knew that I was coming up on my year. Um, so I needed to get it in to the outlet so that I could get it repaired. Well, first thing is I've got to go through a stack of receipts 
from all over everywhere because I need to find my receipt. So I went in the store, store manager said, give me your name, your email address that you use to make the purchase. Let me go and find it so that we can go ahead and get started. She could not pull up any of my purchase history with coach from last year before March. So she couldn't find it. So she said, hey, I'm going to really need for you to go find your paper receipt. Lucky for me, I typically keep my receipts. Now the question is where in the heck is it in all of the receipts that I purchased from, of things I purchased from last year. So I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look for that. I'm gonna look for it tonight um, while my dinner is in the oven. Um, but I'm also at peace that I love that piece so freaking much, that backpack is so amazing that I've still been carrying it even though the end is missing. And quite honestly, if the whole flipping logo fell off, I would still carry it because I know that it's quality, it's leather, it works for me. I love the fact that I can still carry a water bottle, my you know reusable thermal insulated water bottle and an umbrella that there is a place for everything that I carry um, to travel with for work. So even if the entire logo came off, um, that I would just appear to, uh, it'll just appear to be a no-name backpack traveling through the airport because I would absolutely um, continue to use it. Um, so I've got to go back and do that. Not sure um, what caused the glitch for them to not be able to see anything in March. I mean, before March. I can understand not seeing January, right? Because if there's a 12-month period, then I can understand them purging information in their system once the 365 days has passed. But we're already still in the month of February, and you're telling me you can't see anything until like the 20th of March. Um, that didn't sit well with me. But what she shared with me was that um, they had changed their policy last Thursday, and any... Um, Items that were purchased at the outlet will no longer be sent off for repair. They will either um, replace it if that item is still available or they will issue you a merchandise credit. If you opt out of those two options, then at your expense, they will provide you with a list of local leather workers, unaffiliated with coach, not doing any invoice work, not but just um, businesses in the local area that do leather work that you can then take your bag to for work. Now, here's the thing. Um, and I appreciate the candor of the store manager. I've interacted with her quite a few times, and she has an amazing sense of humor. Um, she's worked for Coach, I believe it's 18 years. She was at on the retail side of boutique for eight years, and she's been in the outlets for 10. So she, she's been around for a while. But um, what she shared, she says, hey, even without a receipt, even without me being able to find the um, order history, even, um, you know, even if we were in a situation where this item is no longer available, so the only thing you could take is a merchandise credit, if you didn't want to do that, the best I could do, again, is refer you to someone, but that wouldn't help you in this case because they will not have our um, logos, our text, our, um, you know, our, our hardware, our, they, we, they won't have any of that stuff in order to be able to do the repairs with. So I just had to come to peace at that moment that if in this chaos of receipts, if I don't find it or God forbid it was like the 3rd of February when I bought it last year and here we are, you know, approaching mid-month, then I'm going to have to live with it anyway because that little in font is, not, I would have to like, thrift for a whole nother bag with the same size font and then try to find somebody that can put it on and y'all it is just not worth it to me I guess I could dig it off of something if I found it at you know thrift store and maybe e6000 it on there 
it's just not that serious to me, but I thought um, that I should let you know that it has changed because although the brands that we talk about in this community have a tendency to be higher quality, there are occasional um, repair needs. And I just wanted you to know that if you purchase something from the outlet um, that affected this past Thursday, their policy changed. So make sure that when you are purchasing something, um, as always, but especially if you're purchasing from the outlet, that you are keeping up with your receipt because who knows what will happen with your order history in the system. Um, I also noticed that um, even though they asked for my address, email address in store when I make a purchase, those purchases were not in the system because she actually showed me um, on her iPad what she could see in my order history. Um, but back to my point, make sure that you are doing a really, really good job of inspecting all of the parts and pieces and hardware and components of your bag and maybe getting, um, you know, a manila envelope or something and starting to keep your receipts for your coach outlet purchases there. Because if you need them, I do not want you to have to go through the flurry of receipts that I'm gonna have to go through in order to try to find this receipt and fingers crossed that I didn't purchase it earlier than I thought. I'm, I'm almost certain that I purchased the bag in March and moved in and have lived um, in it. But that's where I am with that. Um, what she said is that there were little to no changes for boutique. She didn't have any specifics on changes there. Um, but for the outlet, of course, if you have your receipt, um, one year warranty, purchase history needs to be pulled up. If the item is still available, they will do a replacement, but nothing will be sent out for repairs. If it is not available for replacement, they will issue you a merchandise credit. And if you decline either of those, the best option they have is to give you an unaffiliated local leather worker so that you can pursue the repair on your own at your expense. So just, again, keep that in mind as you are making your purchases um, from the Coach Outlet. That's all I have for you tonight. That's it. I'm getting ready to go and... Put some dinner in the oven and try to get myself situated. Um, let me see. Did, what have I, did I miss a lot in the chat? Looks like y'all are just kind of talking about the return exchange policy. The other thing that I found interesting, and then I promise I'm going to let you go, is that when I took back the dinky, the store manager offered to do a, what kind of return? No, um, a, I think she called it a price adjusted exchange. And I got really excited because I'm thinking, oh, well, she has it in the store. No. What she was trying to do was get inventory out of her, off of her floor, swapped for this one. Because the return that I did in her store doesn't get counted against her store. It gets counted against, you know, Jacksonville or wherever it was purchased or shipped from. So the fact that I, if I had done an exchange, I would have taken a piece of merchandise out of her store. So she would have gotten the credit for the sale. They would have gotten deemed with the return. And I would have been stuck to pay the $50 difference. To me, that's, that, no, that's not what I came in store for. So if there is anybody um, out there looking, um, I, that chalk one was absolutely stunning. I just could not take the chance of ordering another one and having it come all dinged and scratched up. Because even though nobody else could see that, um, until the, you know, until the bag was open, it was going to drive me absolutely insane. 
And I didn't want anybody looking at my bag when it was open thinking, what's going on with her bag? So um, I returned it and I am at peace. And I appreciate all of your um, comments and feedback on my video because um, I really started thinking about the colors in that robe, uh, to the, the, the link detail colors in there. And I have tons of other solid color accessories that I think are going to pair amazingly with that bag. So I'm just going to enjoy the pieces that I have and pair them up and enjoy that carry. So that's where I am. If you have not been over to check out uh, my latest Instagram post, please make sure that you go over and do that. Um, for those of you that have been following me uh, for... Uh, skincare Saturday 40 plus I did finally uh, film and post my 2019 favorites um, and there's there's content out there make sure that you are checking out my tribe sisters we will all uh, be back together not Friday because it's Valentine's Day and Mrs. Q is taking um, Friday off but we We'll be back together on Sunday for Feed Your Addiction. Um, thank you. Thank you again um, for your consistency and for joining and for being here. Please make sure that you hit the thumbs up before you head out. Make sure that you are checking out My Tribe Sisters and their content. Make sure that you're following them on Instagram as well. I did hear that they did get a few new um, followers on Instagram last week after um, the plea to, you know, exchange information and connect with each other on other social media platforms. So thank you so very much for that. Um, that's all I have for you. I appreciate you being here as always. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.